Hey, y'all. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time visiting, I'm Patrice and welcome. Please look at the other content on the channel and if you like it, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. For my returning visitors, welcome back. I'm always glad that you all return to see what we have going on here. So I did want you guys to know um, I started a vlog page called Teach, Craft, Live. I would love if you all would go over there and see what I have going on. I think today I only have two videos up, but I am adding videos as we go along. It's just a channel to kind of vlog and just vlog about daily life, vlog about crafting, the business side, the hobby side. And also what I love the most, teaching. So please go over there and check me out. Today, we are going to be doing a test, y'all. So I ordered these mugs, these color changing or the heat changing or heat activated mugs from Alibaba.com. I have ordered from there before, but I'm using a new vendor now. And so I have not tested these mugs out yet. So this video, we will be testing this mug out to see how it goes. I will have the link to that vendor below. Also, I ordered some color changing mugs from Amazon. And we're going to try these out. These mugs come eight in a pack for $39.99, which isn't bad. That would make it about $5 per mug. However, I think I ordered about 96 of these from Alibaba for maybe $180. Something, something like that. Very easy. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this up. All right, y'all, so I've already unwrapped the mugs from Amazon and I didn't take out the plastic because I want to make sure that they are separate. So the big difference already that I see with this, the one from Amazon and this, this has a matte finish, which I knew this is, this has a shiny coat. So that's one difference, but the quality is very nice. Amazon packaged these very, very well. Not one was broken. So that's always impressive to me, sending material like this through the mail. I already have my templates or the images that I'm going to use printed out. And I'm just going to wrap this. Okay, so if you want to see, I think in another video where I did another mug, um, it's more of a step-by-step -step tutorial. This video, honestly, is just to show how they sublimate. Okay, so how the one from Amazon sublimates and also the new vendor that I decided to use, um, how they sublimate. Okay, so I'm not doing any designs with this. The ink that I use for both of these images is my ink, which is Dynamic Ink. You can find that below um, at my Etsy shop and, and that is the Dynamic Print Supply Etsy shop. But the ink is there as well. I used a sub paper to print on and I'm just going to wrap this. The method that I'm going to use, I am going to simply use painter's tape to make sure it's nice and tight around the cup. I will show you guys that. All right, y'all. So I already wrapped this one and my um, image is sized pretty well. The only thing is, is that when I printed out these images, I printed out like three of these by mistake. And when I printed out the first one, I realized that in the print settings portion, it wasn't properly aligned in the, in the page, um, or the parameters of how it's printed in the page. So, um, yeah, but I was not going to print another set of these because this is for me and the other one is for my daughter so yeah should be fine but it looks like the template under the other listing for the magic mug or the color changing mug it 
it's the same. It fits both of these cups also. And I think that's the, these are 11 ounce cups. So I'm just going to tape this down a bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap it with the painter's tape. And then we'll put it in the oven for, in our convection oven for about 12 minutes. I intended on these to be full wrap cups because I love the full wrap cups, but I'm okay with it not being a full wrap cup this time. You don't have to use painter's tape. You can use whatever method that you're used to using to sublimate your mugs or tumblers. That works just fine. So just continue to pull that tape tight around your image. Make sure that image is making contact with the cup. All right, guys, so we are all done with wrapping these. And y'all, I did this so like sloppily. I usually wouldn't do it like this, but I'm just trying to get this test done. I want to make sure everything is okay, especially with the ones that I purchased from Alibaba because I want, because I sell these in my store. And so I want to make sure that they do exactly what they're supposed to do. All right. But. We are going to get ready to head over to the convection oven to put these in. We will be baking these babies at 400 degrees for 12 minutes. Remember, every convection oven is different. Every mug or whatever it is that you're using is different. You have to do what works best for you. So it's always good to kind of do a tester with the products that you're using so that you can make sure that you don't have too much waste. All right, guys, so we're at our convection oven. This is a Hamilton Beach um, XL rotisserie convection oven. And I got this from walmart.com. And we have a heat thermometer inside or oven thermometer. And the oven thermometer is telling me that it is 400 degrees inside. So I am going to go ahead and place our mugs in here for 12 minutes. All right, y'all. So these are all out. This is the one that I got from Alibaba. They are pretty hot, but I am going to go ahead and remove the tape from around them. And this was in there for a little bit over 12 minutes because I started doing something else. So it did bake for maybe about two more minutes, um, which I usually am good about getting it out on time. So let's see what happened. And I don't really like to scratch. I have ruined so many cups by scratching the paper and then scratching the cup and then causing like a little scratch in it, but we shall see. All right, so this is the cup from Alibaba as a matte finish and it's actually really nice and hot still. Okay, this is the cup from um, Amazon. So I'm going to take it out. The same thing, I put them both in at the same time as you guys saw. So they baked for about the same time. All right guys, so I'm very happy with the transfer onto these cups. It looks really, really good. That was the Alibaba cup that has a matte finish. And this is the Amazon cup that has a glossy or finish, which you guys can kind of tell with the glare um, from my light. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cool these cups off. And then I will show you all the process of how it changes from black to the image. Okay, so I learned my lesson the last time by trying to transport the hot water to the craft room. So we're just going to do this in the kitchen. So both of these cups 
Like the other cups, you can still kind of see the image once they're cooled off. You can still faintly see the image underneath the matte finish and also the shiny finish. So these are like the other ones where you can kind of see it a little bit still, but we're going to see how it goes. It's already changing. All right, now let's try the other one that didn't fill it all the way up. So let's see if it still changes. And this is the other. This is our Amazon cup or the one that we ordered from Amazon. I'll have the link below for this vendor on Amazon. But as you can see, it works also. And it came out very nice. Both cups came out very, very nice. All right, y'all. So we are all done testing out our two color changing mugs. And they both came out very very nice uh, this is the one from Alibaba the matte with the matte finish it looks very nice sublimated and this is the one from amazon.com you can't go wrong with either of these I'm very very pleased with them so if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful please be sure to like the video and also if you are not a subscriber please go ahead and hit the subscribe button now and become a subscriber. Also hit the bell so that you are notified of whenever we post new content, okay? So either way, either Alibaba or Amazon, they both came out wonderfully, All right? So that's it for today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.